The little brown bat here occupies all of Canada, right up into the Yukon, as far as east coast, west coast, up into the territories, and it will go right through the, all of the United States as well. The little brown bat can be found here in Thunder Bay, and they have a friend in the Bates Brothers. Greg and Ron are hard at work ensuring that these little guys will always have a place to call home. Manufacturing a bat house starts with a piece of plywood that we buy locally here. They're, it's manufactured in Canada. It's put together with a water-based adhesive so we don't uh, harm the bats at all. We run it through our machine grooving. Makes it easy for the bats to land on here, to climb up for their little ones as well. And we're going to start putting one together here. What we're trying to do is make a natural habitat for the bats where they, they've got a, a safe place. They're, they're not being misunderstood because there's a lot of misunderstanding when it comes to bats. For the past seven years, the Bates brothers have been creating certified Canadian bat houses. And if you're a fan of the outdoors, keep in mind that a bat can consume up to 1,200 mosquitoes in one hour. What they do is they start feeding right in the immediate area and they'll start circling. They'll start feeding in the area and, and they'll feed out as far as they have to until they're full, then they'll come back. If you find a bat sleeping in your eave or above your door or something and he's by himself, that'll be a male bat. Males like to be by themselves and uh, they don't uh, congregate together. If you find three or more bats together, that'll be females. And this is what they'll do is that the females will move into a host like this. In cases, some cases, there'll be hundreds of them in here. They'll have their young pups. They only have one pup a year. These bat houses are all made as local as possible and they're BCI certified. Bat Conservation International is the world leader in bat research. What they'll be attracted to is the heat. Uh, all, bla all bat houses should be painted black to absorb the, the sun's rays during the day. So you want to put your house where it's going to get the most sun. Uh, the more sun, the better. And the higher you mount the house, the better it is. And when the bats come out for feeding in the evenings, they'll uh, investigate. And when they find uh, a nice warm bat house, then they'll move right in. They've, they've got to be glued, nailed, and screwed together. That's uh, part of their uh, criteria so they don't fall apart over a matter of years. Eh? These houses are they're covered with an uh, EPDM rubber membrane. This is right from Firestone. We're certified installers of this uh, EPDM product. And what we do is we wrap the houses with them. That keeps them completely airtight, watertight, and uh, they never need painting. After the summer, when the bat leaves the house, they head to an old mine or a cave where they'll spend the winter. And in the spring, they'll come back to the same house with their pup. And when the finished product comes out, that's what you will receive. Canadian bat houses come in two different sizes. There's a standard and a nursery. If you'd like more information, you can head to their website or give the Bates Brothers a call. Reporting for Shaw TV in Thunder Bay, I'm Sarah MacArthur. Be friendly to bats. They're our friends.